Okay, fifth grade lesson 111. Woo woo! 111, multiplying decimal numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000. Okay, let's just do a quick review. Do you remember me telling you, let's say I did 34 times 10. Do you remember the easy way you can do this problem? Well, we could line it up vertically. Okay. Sort of. Oh, the hanging zero. The hanging zero. Okay. So, I would know I would just bring my zero down and then 34 times 1 is? 34. Okay. Now, here's what I want to tell you. There's actually an easier way if you're working with 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, million, a bunch of things with a bunch of zeros. Okay. Here's what you would do. You would just take the number and however many zeros it has, you add it to it. So if I said 56 times 10, it would be 56 with one zero. You get that? Mm -hmm. Okay, if I said 56 times 100, what would it be? Um, Two mm -hmm. zeros. Oh. 5,600 or yeah. 5,600. 56 times 1,000 would be what? Uh, three zeros. Three zeros. 56 and three zeros. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. You just quickly do it and you don't have to work hard. Okay? We put a comma right there. Okay? Because you always do three and then three. But it only works with the 1,000. Only when it's one in the zeros. Okay? Ten, okay. hundred, thousands. Yeah. Ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, all that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, there's an even cooler thing that you can do when you're working with decimal numbers. So watch what I do. If I said 3.4 okay. times 10. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the way we have been doing it. Okay? 0 times 4. Could it be 3.40? Almost. Almost. Stay with me. 4 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 3 is 3. Fill everything else in with zeros, and we get 340 on the bottom. But, do you remember what I do with my decimal when I have decimal? count behind it, I think. Uh-huh. 1. So what's that tell you I'm going to do? Third. 3, 4.0. Very good. I'm going to move one here, starting off the far right, and move one spot over. My answer is going to be 34.0. Got it? Or just 34? Yeah. Because the zero doesn't matter. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, that's the way you've been doing it. Or you could have even done the hanging zero. Let's look at that real quick. Brought my zero down. Four times one is four. Three times one is three. And then I would have counted one spot after the decimal. One spot and still gotten 34. Okay, there's an easier way than that when you're working with 10, 100,000, million, all those. Yeah. Okay, whatever you, all you do is look at the decimal and however many zeros is, is how many times you move the decimal to the right. So, okay. if I have 3.4, I have how many zeros? One. So, I'm going to move this decimal one spot to the right. Okay? So it actually ends up being 34, right? Yeah. Okay, now let me show you why that makes sense. Because when I'm doing 34 times 10, where do I put the zero? Uh, to the right. Yeah. Because 34 times 10 would be 340. 340. So I'm always putting something to the right. I'm always doing something to the right. Remember that? Yeah. Okay, so when I multiply and it's a decimal number instead of just a whole number, it's a decimal number? Yeah. Oh, uh, you don't just add a zero at the right. You instead move your decimal. Okay, so what's the difference between a whole number and a decimal number when you're multiplying by ten, hundred thousand, all that? Uh and the whole num whole wait, numbers. Decimal numbers, you put you move the period or decimal, decimal. uh one spot over, or depending how much zeros are. Very good. And then in the whole numbers, you just add the zero. Very good. 
depending on how many there are. So in this case, this one would be, tell me what the answer would be. Uh, it'd be, add three zeros to it, which would be 34,000. 34 and one, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. 34,000. This one times it by the same number, but instead of it being 34 whole number, it's 3.4. So it would be 34.000. Close. How many zeros do I have? One, One. two, three. Three. So oh. let me take the number, 3.4, and I'm going to move the decimal how many spots? Three times over. Three times. One spot, two spots, three spots. What should I fill those in with? Zeros. Zeros. So, what is the answer? It'd be 3,400 or 3,400. And you could just keep adding zeros if you wanted to. That doesn't matter. You got it? Mm-hmm. You see the difference? Yes. Okay. Let's let you try one. Okay. You can even do it in your head if you want to. Four times ten. Do one twenty thirty here. It'd be twelve point three four zero. Perfect. You don't have to add zeros. Remember that yeah. they're terminal. Okay. So because we have one spot, we're gonna move this one spot. It ends up being twelve point thirty four. Okay. Let's do that one. Ooh. It'd just be at the end, wouldn't it? It would just be at the end. I have how many zeros? One, two, three. So I take my decimal and go one, two, three. The decimal would go here. My answer would be 1,234 or 1,234, however you want to read. Yeah. Got it? Mm -hmm. Feel like you understand it well? Yes. All right, that's the lesson 111.